Hello and welcome to the One Day Stadium for match six in the LG One Day Series between India and England. Well, I'm joined out here in the middle by all the usual suspects, two captains, and the match referee, Dennis Lindsay, who once again has given me this one-round coin to see who's going to win the toss in this final game of the series. Saurav has it. Up she goes. Heads it calls. Heads it is. So, Nasser, what's the verdict? No, uh, no hesitation about that? No, it looks a good wicket. Um, I'd say a little bit more bouncing it than the last couple of wickets. It's fairly hot to uh, try and set a score again and put a bit of pressure on them. Does that mean you enjoyed the way you won the last game then by doing the same sort of thing? I enjoy winning any game. I have you in it, to be honest. Um, no, I think we played pretty well in the last game, but, you know, the secret is to try and do that two games in a row. It's a uh, slightly different wicket. We're the same side and we just got to do the basics again. So you say, back in the same side to do the same job? Yeah, basically. All right, good luck to you then. Thanks, sir. Sir, is that a problem, losing the toss and having to feel first? No, not really. You were caught short chasing in the last game. Uh, does that worry you at all? No, not really. We should have won the game. We just lost by two runs. We won the previous two games chasing, so it's going to do a bit early. It looks a bit damp, so it's, it's a blessing in disguise. And you probably feel you've had the best of the series overall. Of course, 3-2 up, win this, no doubt about who wins it. Is the pressure on just trying to make sure you win this last game? No, not really. We 3 to up in the series. We've come here to play good cricket. Whoever plays well is going to win, so we stick to that. So you're a firm believer in fate. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right, sir. Thanks very much indeed. Okay, so Nasser Hussain then has won the toss. England won a bat first. So David Garr with the two captains and the teams. The Indian team, you see the one change. No Sarandeep Singh, Harbhajan Singh comes back into the side. So it's a pretty formidable outfit. England team unchanged, very bullish this morning, the England management going around telling everybody we're unchanged, that's the team, it won the last time and it'll win again. Yes, and uh, everything to play for, I thought England showed great character and uh, Nasser Hussain has been leading from the front. Well, very good afternoon to everyone. Welcome to the start of this crucial game, 3-2 the series of course, and the advantage, if there is any, already to England in the sense that they've won the toss and are doing what they want to do, i.e. bat first. And the plan, obviously it might sound, is to make the sort of total which will put the game beyond the reach of India. Nick Knight out there with Marcus Truscothic, the two left-handers, and between them they've found form at various stages of this tournament. England will be hoping that uh, they find form together for this sixth and final match in this series. Javagal Srinath with the ball in his hand. He's at the Gawari Pavilion end. And he's been a major part of India's success as well. We're ready to start. The crowd of this international. Dropped him. What a start to the day. Just got it. One of England's key men survives a chance Srinath has to walk back and wonder what might have been what a great opportunity here for India Badani one of the best fielders in the Indian team he, that's a great effort so the first runs on the board Peskotic gets off the mark He's nicked back. All right. Srinath draws first blood. And what an over already, David, to start off a big match. Well, it's a great over from a very fine and experienced fast bowler. He's played here many a time, knows what's expected. No doubt about this one. Nick Knight might or might not have had a chance in the one before. It doesn't matter now. Srinath has got his man. The Indians are celebrating. It's the perfect start for them, one for one. So the England captain has made his way out to the centre. England have lost their first wicket in the first over. Ajit Agarka will share the new ball. And he starts off with a bouncer. He's dismissed Trascotic twice in the series already with a short delivery. thing for sure on this pitch if you're prepared to bend your back early on you'll get results
it's two for one. Three now continuing. Good shot. Just ease into that, Hussein. Seven for one. Good shot. That will reach the boundary. Well, it's the first time really that either Srinath or Agaka have strayed. And although Hussein, you can see how much in the crease he was playing that, but the weight in the right position is back and across early. But the ball is on the wrong line there. If you're an umpire watching the keeper do that, you're entitled really to say, now hang on, when's he going to try and kid me? 14 for 1, 4 overs have been bowled. Mike the batsman already in the pavilion. Good run. They have to keep an eye on these singles. It's 18 for 1. No modesty is my middle name. That's a fine shot. Well, that's twice Hussein has got it through the onside of Agakar. Uh, two good shots and two shots which just keep the uh, scoreboard ticking for England. And a chest over second slip. Well, I mentioned earlier that the slips would be uh, ready and waiting on their toes for something. This is the sort of shot I had in mind too. Wide of off stump. Got it in, in the end, got a bit too close to it. And it flew very, very quickly. Yes, it was too quick for Sewa. The ball was gone by the time he jumped. Again, drifting onto leg stump, and he's paid the price for it. Second boundary of the over. Six gone. 30 for one. 30 for one. Good last over for England. In fact, three boundaries. Two on the onside and one uh, with a flashy shot. He's chipped in the air. Didn't quite time it, but uh, you could see he was going down the track. Scottic, and this is good running. Seven of the over, 37 for one. And that's four. Started off as a wide, and the cape wasn't too great as well. As you say, it started wide and got wider. So it was always going away from Ratra. Uh, see, after it gets past, that's, there it goes, it continues to swing. Just getting a thumb to it, but at the end of the day, it's uh, five. The bars. Good running. And four more runs. The captain is not going to be happy. Being a few bonus runs for England, the last two balls, eight of them actually. Well, and you've got to bowl another delivery. But that was, that was poor cricket. 
There was never ever a chance for a run out. Not sure the captain's too happy. Here's the man trying to stop it. He overthrows. Oh, he gets down, picks it, and he hasn't really looked. And the batsman's past the stumps, let alone the, the crease. Oh, England will accept it. That's going to be another one. It's got to be. It is. Barker, I think. And to make matters worse, the last ball of the over has gone for another boundary. Eight overs gone, England, 54 for one. It's a good run rate for England, 54 for one. Of eight overs, Srinath will continue from the Tata end. Again, short and handled well by Nasser Hussain. Couple of bounces before it goes to that ball boy. Good response on this occasion by the England captain. Again, a single. Srinath is not happy. And six boundaries for England. But more importantly, 19 singles have been taken by the England batsman as uh, Saurav Ganguly shows a bit of patience with Ajit Agarkar after conceding 17 runs in that last over. The man is still in charge. Always a bit of cover of grass. Slow ball and hammered absolutely hammered there by Prescottic for another boundary well it's short and wide I think he really wants to just concentrate on his line length at the moment Garka is trying a lot of different deliveries proving expensive it's a slower ball and well, it's a buffet ball help yourself short and he's gone for it he's done well he's got enough bat on it for it to go all the way the nightmare for Agarkar continues England 74 one and you're looking at a very dangerous partnership out there 69 runs of 54 balls and few more runs few more runs for Nasir Hussain he was given the width he made the most of it now Srinath also in a bit of trouble Well, the last ball, the last over, was smashed away, and that's gone in front of square and a long way. And then Nasser Hussain again being given width. That's what's costing the Indian bowlers as much as anything is their line, and more importantly, their length. A single to Tescotic, and England 78 for one. Both batsmen in their 30s, Trescothic and Hussein. And it's a partnership that's really putting some serious worries for India. And they've made a bowling change. Anil Kumble has been introduced, replacing Ajit Agarkar from the Garwari Pavilion end. That's a wide. In the air, hasn't timed it well at all, Prescottic. And in the deep, Dinesh Mongia, couple of runs. Well 86 for one in England. And the change has ultimately happened. Saurav Ganguly has brought himself on and looking very aggressive at the moment. Taken the ball straight on, hit on the up slightly couple of runs not quite time as you'd like a little high on the bat I think but immediately it's game on very short and straight to Harbhajan Singh the captain has done the trick they've always said that long time back when Ganguly started to bowl at the international level he has the golden arm and surely today he has one well that's what saying will be Devastated, going along so well. It's just a rank long up. He's managed to hit it. Oh, Harbhajan only had to move a couple of yards. Didn't made no mistake. Never easy. The right ball. Well taken. That's where Sain's gone to 41. It's 88 for two. Michael Warren comes.
Michael Warren comes in to join Trescothic. The noise you hear in the background is because Nasir Hussain has been dismissed by Saurav Ganguly. Could be a leg by. It is Michael Warren will take strike. He's the man who's replaced Nasir Hussain. Pitched up. It's gone the area route. Chris Kothik won't go all the way. It's a lush outfield here. You've got to hit the ball hard for it to go all the way. But he'll pick up three. Which means England move to 93. 93 for two. Chris Kothik on strike. Ah! Go sweep. It's gone up in the air. I think his presence in the middle is very important because he's got off to a start. That's a lovely shot. Excellent use of his feet. And might have just cleared the boundary. The intent was six. Truscothic. Good footwork down the ground to Cumbly, not allowing Cumbly to settle. All the way, I think. One for the third umpire here, but it looks to just clear the rope. If it hits the rope, if it hits the boundary rope, it's four. Has to clear the rope. Well, eventually given his six. Truscothic's 47. talking about this surface David I think any score in a game like this over 250 on this surface uh, is a very good score it's more than competitive India have taken two wickets but England uh, already passed a hundred and he's going for it he knows the field is up he's in good touch nice way to bring up a half century well he's seen it like a football to Scotty He's made India change the ball, he's brought Ganguly into the attack and he's tucking into Ganguly, this time over extra cover. Terrific innings this, 51 from 42 deliveries for Truscothic. And chipped away on the onside this time, there is long on, so just a single. 107 for two. This is the highest score England has made in uh, 15 overs in this series. Just using the pace of the bowler. Well, it's good work again from Chiscothing and from England. Four coming of the last over. One, one, one for two. Ganguly continuing. With that single off the last ball of the previous over has brought Vaughan back onto strike. So, from India's viewpoint, Truscothic is quiet at the minute. Plenty of batting to come. Thorpe, Flintoff, Collingwood, Giles, Foster, Caddick, Goff. England unchanged from the last game. He's driven down the ground, beaten mid on. Just pulled back inside the boundary. Good work by Harbajan. As well here, the young off spinner. Long chase down the ground. Not perfectly timed by Michael Vaughan. Athletic fielding. It's a good sense to just flip the ball back before he goes over the boundary. No problems whatsoever. Just hitting through the line. He's a tall man, Trescotic. And he falls asleep. It's as easy as that. Disappointed that he's ball just a length ball off stump. There it is. Hit that. Thank you very much, says Trescotic. Face with the bat. One bounce. Stands tall at the crease. Wide eyed. That's good cricket. 
Adams quietly picks up the single, will keep the strike. Eight of the last over, 119 for two. 17 overs have been bowled. Kumble will It's in the air and will beat the man at long off. Again, this shows the kind of confidence he has at the moment. He's in terrific touch, Triscothic, and we've seen a lot of this shot. A ball of full length just outside off stump, and it's just a pendulum swing with the bat. Just takes a good stride down the ground, picks his spot over long off. That's pass slip, and it will be point. And we'll find the boundary again. So nine coming off the last over. 128 for two. England maintaining a very good run rate in spite of losing two wickets. The run rate still over seven. One thirty-one for two. And uh, at the Bankhead Stadium, it's Harbhajan Singh who's replaced Anil Kumble. And in the commentary box, we've got Maninder Singh, and uh, with him Ian Botham. Race away. It's not the quickest outfield in the this very lush. That's good running by Michael Vaughan. Three. No slip. I would have been tempted to have a slip the way Harbhajan Singh. Because what India needs now is wickets at the moment to stop this run floor. Yes. An outside edge. Nobody there to catch it. And what the Indian captain has to do is make some positive moves, get a couple of wickets here. Put the slip in, but this time it's wide of the slip. Michael Vaughan looking for three here. They're going to settle for two. Just got it. Just says that that's enough. How close was this? Cheskotek is playing very intelligently. He's playing with loose hands so that the ball doesn't carry to the slip fielder. That's a beautiful, really lovely line. Just wide off the first slip. This time reverse sweeping, no fielder there, another boundary for England. Bowling over the wicket to the left-hander, it's almost a free shot for him, it's virtually impossible to get an LBW from there with the ball turning. No one back there, so I scoff it, goes it away. This is it, you can't, virtually impossible to get an LBW. Really don't know where the score is going to go from here if England keep wickets in hand. They're 1-4-1 one, one for 2 after 19.5, so at the 20 overs and 142 for two England. Well, Shosofik can go on and get a big score here. And it allows the other players to play around him. Short and pulled away. That'll split the fielders. Got a boundary. Poor bowling that. Not poor bowling, that's very poor bowling and poor thinking for me because uh, the way the spinners have ball, turned the ball for India, Anil Kumble and Harbhajan Singh, I tell you what, Bifi, I would have straight away got Sachin Tendulkar on because he's one bowler who can really turn the ball viciously. Well on! They've stole another one and with that England 150 for two. 150 up for England. Away, maybe one. Good over, Haljan. Just three from it. It's 153 for two. We need to continue. That's right. Stumped comprehensively. Nothing more than you no know, other way of describing that. It's an ugly slog. Well, I would describe it that silly. Michael Vaughan just didn't need to do that at all. Now look at this. This is where the teams can get into trouble. Last of wicket here. Well done by Ajay Ratra. Well done, Saurav Ganguly. 153 for 3, England. Graham Thorpe. 
Touch the crease. Throws to the wide. He's... This is what Graham Thorpe's good at. He's pinching these singles. That's why, uh, in many ways, well, I feel he should have been at least at number four in this batting lineup. Bit of a knock. Doing the feeling. He might just have banged his head here. Terrific effort. I think uh, old uh, Mellon bounced on the turf. That's right, he hit his head on the floor. Mohamed Kaif is one of those kids who really gives everything on the field. It's very well played. That's intelligent cricket from Trescotic. There was room for him outside off stump. He's run the first one hard. And gets it easily. Very, very good running between the wickets we've seen. The Indian captain not looking very happy. And rightly so, because Srinath, being a bowler, should realize what is expected of the fielders. And Graham Thorpe knows where the gaps are and finds it. Five off the over, so 158 for three. Round the wicket. Good again, Graham Thorpe. I'll just take the single, keep the ball ticking over. That's it, that's what exactly England need at the moment. Just fetch that and fetched it very, very hard. It's outside off stump and smashed away. What a way to get into his 90s. I think Chris Kotick realizes it's damn hot there, so he'll have to collect some boundaries to up his scoring rate. I think he's scoring very quickly anyway. He's got his 91 of 69 balls with nine boundaries and a six. This is one of the nine boundaries. Well, a rare mix-up. Just got it, wanted the single. Graham Thorpe didn't. Six from the over, 164 for three. Captain continues. Doubled away. This is what we saw in the first one, the international at Kolkata. Up to 25 overs, 166 for 3 England. Nicely played, stood in the face and playing it square. And he's just got it back on strike, that's what you've got to do. He's to come in. Made it towards square leg for a single dress Gothic. Well, it's just Gothic, the first uh, English player to score 100, just 80, 80 balls. Well, he's got a chance of doing that again today. He's got three more deliveries to get to the three figures. I'm doing the job of the fifth bowler. Single off the last ball, it's 171 for three. Now the gen. Well, signaled a wide, and quite rightly, but I'm afraid Graham Thorpe is out. Might well have been wide, but it's a good piece of keeping from. Look at that turn out of four holes. So England lose their fourth wicket. Thorpe's gone for six, it's 171 for four. Paul Collingwood, the new man at the crease for England. Back. That's in the air and taken. Second wicket in the over. The turbinator has struck twice. And a look at the crowd. This match can change quickly. The ball's turning and bouncing. Well, it's the end of another magnificent innings from Marcus Toscopic, who has taken his chances, 
and has played supremely positively. It's just that little bit of turn. It's the leading edge. It's carried. Habajan said, judged it well. A very, very important wicket for India. Triscothic gun for 95. England 173 for five. Saying continuing, Andy Flintoff is the new man out in the centre. And this is a good field set here. Trying to pressure on Flintoff early on. Umpire not interested. Eventful over, 173 for five. Two wickets in the last over. The Bankade Stadium, very close to the sea. India must try and take wickets in these 11 overs. That's their best chance of going back into the contest. He's still there. Could have been three in an over. 174 for five. So Harbhajan Singh continuing. This game has turned around. Harbhajan Singh, Saurav Ganguly the catcher, and the Indians at the moment are cock a hoop. Well, oh, good pressure from Harbhajan, and what a good catch from Dinesh Mongia. He was at full stretch, had to read it well, had to judge it, had to come forward. Paul Collingwood on his way. For just two runs, wickets tumbling, it's 174 for six. Ashley Giles is the new man out here for England. That's happening in the commentary box as well. Another one. Wickets falling like nine pins. Bhajan Singh is on fire. Four wickets in no time. Now this is his third one. Sevak taking a great catch. And now Giles, the top spinner. Simple catch taken. Well, what cricket this is. This one man international has turned into something, as I said just now, like a test match. And the pressure being applied by Harbhajan Singh. The Terminator finding wonderful form here in Mumbai and England suddenly in trouble at 174 for seven. The last 11 deliveries of Harbhajan Singh has transformed this sixth game of the LG series. 11 balls, four wickets and he's conceded just two runs. Foster the new man. The ball is spinning like a top. 174 for seven. Well done. So the Indians now going for the kill. Men around the bat. Well, I'm sure the selectors will say that rest did him good. Not playing in Delhi. Well, call it what you like. I mean, Sarandi, of course, played there on home territory. deliveries he took four wickets and really if you look at it it could have been uh, five wickets in 12 deliveries that's good shot just worked away on the onside with the spin 179 for seven positive way to look for it uh, from England's point of view is that the field is up so opportunity is there to put the ball that ball away to the boundary so Kumbla and Harbhajan have total control and uh, India won't mind just the odd few singles being picked up like this 17 overs left Harbhajan Singh will continue 
and I think he likes this time of the day Harbhajan Singh played well with the spin good at earth fielding and just the one but all the spells came in the post tea session which is in a test match just about after 2.43 it is again the same time of the day when Harbhajan the turbinator has struck those were the qualities that really gave him worldwide fame in that series against Australia how quickly he ran through Australian batting and that is wonderfully struck and the gap found to perfection Andrew Flintoff a threat still there for India top spinner to finish the over England 188 for 7 should be at least a couple of runs Tendulkar will get around it the local boy Well, there's another star we talk about, Arbajan. There's the daddy of all stars, Tendulkar in Mumbai, patrolling that offside boundary. No, I think the captain's been terrific today. Unfinished too, he'll need to bat. No! Old eight overs of medium pace, sort of Ganguly. And look for two. Finish Monga is in chase. It's gone over the top. And he's a big man with powerful shoulders and a heavy bat. And England have lost up 200. Well, it's a start, 200, forget the seven, that's a problem to England, but Flintoff playing like Flintoff can. Big shot. Sachin Tendulkar has been introduced by the Indian captain. It's coming from the Tata end on a ground where he really grew up playing his cricket. That's what he'll try to do get the batsman to drive and while the batsman boy, is getting some encouragement to drive will slip in that wrong one oh. England 203 for 7 played with the spin the right way to do it Deceiving the batsman with a top spin up. It was put up right there for the batsman to drive and really beaten by the skills of the young Sikh. Well, I said he would and I thought he would. He's every chance of getting the five for and he's deserved it. It's the ball that goes the other way. He gets it above the batsman's eye line. That's going towards slip. He doesn't read it, Foster. Clips it back to Arbajan. He's got five for England now, 205 for eight, tottering. Andrew Carrick will provide the opportunity for Harbhajan Singh to pick up his sixth wicket. And the captain is providing, as you would expect, some support. Slip, silly point and forward shot leg in position. Top spinner. Just the one ball in what's turned out to be a tremendous spell. There it is, 10 is gone. 43 runs given and five wickets by Harbhajan Singh. Dream spell comes to an end. England 205 for eight. After that, it will be scheduled lunch. I think he's finding the gap here. He has a sparing drive there. We're in the save out, but Flintoff is still there and still flexing his muscle. Yeah, it's a power shot through mid wicket. Full toss right out in the middle of the bat, and he picks his spot at mid wickets. In danger of being left high and dry here, Flintoff. Caddick at the crease with him, only Goff to come. Oh, that got his rhythm with his leg spin. England 209 for eight. So Anil Kumble from the Tata N is the spinner that sort of Ganguly is employed and I think he is looking to get bowling changes. Umpire Gupta there. Played well. 
waited for the ball is the pace was to go England 210 for eight just a gentle breeze here at the ground on the coast at Mumbai flags flying proudly for India and the team are doing the flag 10 hours to go couple of runs Srinath doesn't have the greatest throwing arm these days Sweep shot this time. And Srinath. <laughs> well, all you can say is Dinesh Mongia has been courteous. England 215 for eight. Probably some glove on it. It's gone very fine. Sarandeep Singh. And no signal from the Empire. Eight hours to go, 218 for eight. Sachin Tendulkar continuing, three overs for ten. That's up in the air, and this should be taken. No problem whatsoever. Kumbhaya makes no mistake, Carrick departs. And the wicket number nine. Well, India had to wait a little bit longer for this wicket than some but it hastens the end Kadek has tried all sorts of shots he's missed most of them and the first time really he's got even half a bat on it he's presented a nice simple chance so Tendorka strikes, Kumbo takes the catch it's 218 for 9 It's went off the man on strike because the batsman crossed over when the catch was being taken. Lintoff was thinking of the second, but the problem was he's such a good striker of the ball. And the ball reached that man at long off fairly quickly. It's almost wide. 219 for 9. Emang Badani getting a chance to roll his arm over. Part time left arm spinner. Yeah, you'd be happier if you were an Englishman. He will look for two because otherwise it's Goff who will keep the strike, which he will now with that single. 221 for 9. That's excellent use of the feet and powerfully struck. That ball raced away to the boundary. There was a man at long off, but he was a little wider than one would have imagined. It's a fine shot. Technically a good shot, and the power of the man, and the timing, such that Sarandeep was unable to get there. It's perfect cricket from Flintoff at this stage. They can pick up those boundaries, it's so much handier. I said just now. That's got away. But work for Srinath in the deep, so this is turning out to be a good over. Padani continuing. Single of the first ball. Will give the off the strike. I think India have to look to go for the kill. That's true. Best field. Gives Splinter off the boundary. 237 for nine. These are useful runs. This partnership now worth 21. He's got that fine. Ajit Dhakar will cut it off. And this is where I just get the feeling Anguli might be missing the plot. The 
see Tendulkar live it there the single going and rightly so 242 for nine and just remember this man could have had Driscothic from the first ball of the match two drops from a of a very hard chance at a backward point by Badani to uh, put pressure on to take the wicket it's got that away doesn't mind Goff taking the single but what Goff has done he split those two fielders perfectly that's an excellent cricketing shot to end the over 248 for nine two overs to go last four overs have been productive from England's point of view didn't quite get hold of it the opportunity was there it was a full toss Taron Goff is doing an excellent job. He's moved on to 15 from 23. Can't receive a 37 now. It's a record. That's up in the air. Abdul Kerr coming under it and he takes it comfortably. So Srinath rewarded with that slower delivery. The England innings has come to an end in the final over. 255 I think is a good recovery in the end because at one stage it looked as if they might well be bowled out for a score of around 200 210 well the slower delivery works again for Javago Srinath a couple of fingers across it didn't come on to the bats and uh, Agrika judging the catch ball India will feel uh, a little bit disappointed I think that they let it get to 255 Flintoff has played a very very handy role for England those 40 runs and that partnership of 37 a record for the 10th wicket here in Mumbai by uh, all comers has kept the game very very interesting and uh, India will know that they've certainly undone a lot of that early damage Triscothic was outstanding having been dropped from that first ball until he was caught and bowled for 95 he'd never put a foot wrong another superb innings from him exactly the same vein as that one in Kolkata at the start of the series Help from Nasser Hussain, who looked in his best form in this tournament here, 41 from 38. Very useful help from Andrew Flintoff, 40 from 50 deliveries. And Darren Goff, look at him, not out, 16 from 24 at the end. 37 very valuable runs added at the end there, and although they've missed out on five balls, England have fought back well, given themselves a chance. These bowling figures make interesting readings. Three and with two wickets, one at the start, one at the end. But Argaka, very, very expensive when Triscothic took him at the start. The spinners started poorly but fought back well and of course the outstanding performance in amongst all those figures there, that of Harbhajan Singh. Ten overs, one maiden, five for 43, a wonderful performance from him. So at the end of it all, England uh, almost survived 50 overs, India have a full 50 overs. They need to score at 5.12 runs per over and score 256 runs to win this match. Welcome back to the Wankhede Stadium. Play about to start here in the second session. This is match six in the LG one day series. 256 the target for India. They have to get those runs, a little over five runs per over. The England fielders are already out in the center. So are the two Indian opening batsmen, Fevag and Sachin Tendulkar. And uh, Ian, this new ball could be crucial because there is something in the surface for the fast bowlers. There certainly is, and always is here. It uh, encourages stroke play because the ball comes onto the bat. So Andrew Caddick will start the proceedings for England. Sevag, the man on strike. And he's off the mark straight away. Should be a wide. Look, well, there's any doubt about that. Good over, good delivery to end the over. Two for no loss. But here's Goff. 
That's a bit too late. Great effort. Excellent piece of fielding. So two runs there. Tremendous effort. Not easy for the big man Andy Caddick, but he did very, very well here. Kanduka off the mark. And with a couple. He's drifting into his legs and he's so strong in that area. That's pulled away. He was waiting for it. Didn't quite get hold of it. But still enough bat on the ball to reach the boundary. It's the first boundary for Sachin Pendulka. You're right. He was in position so quickly there. Just rocked back. Hit well. Yes, I think it's a very good shot because it wasn't all that sh short of delivery. Caddick continuing. And Sebag on his way, spanking square cut. Well, it got what it deserved, it's short and wide. And races away with that new ball. Yes, that's right, cracking the shot it was. There's the wit. It's all the encouragement he needs. Hit with power. That's one of his favourite shots. That's pulled away. He's got a hold of it. And it's gone all the way for six. What a shot that was. Sachin. So a uh, show rolls on. Hit with such power. And what a shot from Darren Goff. And this is even better. Lapped him hard. Straight into the crowd. Now that's a beauty. Again, not all that short. He gets into such great position. Twenty-four for no loss. Continuing, Sebag is the man on strike. Then the square cut. The placement again, excellent from Sebag. But it's there to hit. And the players themselves got off to a flyer, and they know that any width is just what you want with this new ball. Not even have to leave the crease. It's timed so well. Back across and bang. Five of the over, 29 for no loss. He's gone for it. That's gone. And it might just have gone over the line as well. The crowd say six. Well, I say six as well. It's, it's the width. It's wide. Smashed away. The batsman get his arms free. This hits the fencing. Uh, the yellow hoarding straight on. There you go. Six. Thirty-five for no loss. Edged and taken. Good delivery. Extra bounce. Goff has done the trick. And India have lost Tendulka. And you could hear a pin drop in the stadium. The local hero is gone. And Darren Goff comes back well. Sachin Sintelka departs. And this ball bounces and leaves him. Regulation Nick. Costa making no mistake. A big wicket for England. Tendulka, he's gone for 12. It's 36-4. Indian captain comes out to the center. India have just lost the wicket of Sachin Tendulkar. Now Ganguly, he's off the mark straight away and with a boundary. Well, he's got that. That ball would probably have hit you know, middle and off. Whether it pitched outside is another 
question it. And certainly in the middle, but I think it might well have just pitched outside leg. There would have been a big shout if he missed it. Bully sprints leg ahead. Forty one for one India. It is. Bowler left, it's 41 for one. Uh, viewers on DD National, the commentary in Hindi coming to you from uh, Maninder Singh and Arun Lal. This should be a wide. Yeah, no problems with that one. Darren Goff is not frustrated there with the umpire just for the fact that he's got the ball to do what he didn't want to do from that delivery. Got the line wrong, got it to swing, but that's useless if the line is wrong. And he's got the ball already, and it's seen a bit as well, already roundabout leg stump when it's pitched. He just knows he's got it wrong there. That's, that's his frustration, pure and simple. See the ball swinging straight away from the hand, carrying on that movement down the leg side, no problem with the call at all. Good timing. That's what he has, Ganguly. It's a firm push. India 48 for one. Marginal difference there. England six runs ahead at this stage. Carrick. No chance. No chance for the fielder, third man. It just flew off the outside edge. And again, you saw a bit of width. Flashes. Flashes really hard. Yeah, Andy Caddick, in his heart of hearts, will know the line was wrong. Similar sort of width to the one that disappeared over point for six. That should be wide. And I wonder whether it's the Virendra Sehwag effect on Sachin Tendulkar. And same with Ganguly, you saw, trying to pick up singles, getting... Again, beautifully struck. Nasir is saying the field are 57 for one. Andrew Flintoff is the first change bowler for England. Right arm fast medium. And the honor is going to Ganguly on this occasion. So you've built it up and they're living up to it. Well, it's the great thing, isn't it, about one day cricket that Ganguly. He's allowed at this stage to give himself this sort of room. What he does well again, as he did in Delhi, is he keeps his balance well, keeps his eyes on the ball well. Although he's freed himself to play the shot, he's executed it beautifully. Every time I watch him play the shot, it amazes me how much room he gives himself. It's a full view of the stumps to the bowlers. Picks up a single, keeps a strike. India 62 for one. Well, India, although they had a spectacular start, still eight runs behind the 10 over stage behind England. Beautiful drive. It's a slowish outfield, but it's such a good timer of the cricket ball, Sir of Ganguly. Great shot. I don't think um, Andy Carrick. We'll be at all happy with this, though. He's given the charge, and he's hit the ball well. Again, the umpire signals no ball first, and then boundary. Not a good night for Caddick. This gets worse for him. Having been warned just before that by the umpire for running on the danger area, 
he's made the, the cardinal error really which is to overstep Ganguly gets himself in that position again this is a well struck shot straight up couple of runs again trying to heave it on the leg side and Ashley Giles I think will be an important bowler for England it's a pitch that has a bit of turn leg by signal Ganguly could have been dangerous the ball stuck 12 hours gone in 179 runs to win. He's given the charge. And the ball is sailing into the sands. It's a tremendous hit. And every time he steps out to a faster bowler, the outcome is something to celebrate for the Indian supporters. Well, Andy Carrick's still on and still disappearing. And that's the furthest he's gone so far. Again, it's a wonderful strike. Ganguly in this form of cricket hits the ball clean and far. Especially men who mattered. On the up. And that disappeared. Well, I'm afraid Andy Carrick has to disappear out of the attack for now. Hussein has persevered just too long this time. And all credit to Verinder Sehwag, he's lost the strike a bit in recent overs. He's watched Ganguly hitting it to all parts, and the first time he comes back on strike like this, gets that same opportunity outside off stump, on the up, that's his strength. And he makes absolutely no mistake. Leading edge, and straight to the fielder. Grand pop. Verinder Sehwag, well got a few disappointed fans in the stadium tremendous hitter the ball has just missed time an important one well there's a god smiling on Andy Carrick here he's had a shocking time and yet he's picked up the wicket Graham Thorpe uh, able to get round for the catch and uh, Sawag will be kicking himself when he gets back in the dressing room 31 it's 88 for two 88 for two. Once again, Ganguly sprinting for the single. Again, a direct hit. Might have had him in trouble. Vinesh Mongia is the new batsman out here for India. He's replaced Virendra Sevag. He's found the gap. Will not reach the boundary, though. Mongia off the mark. 91 for two, just. 14 overs have been bowled, so the fielding restrictions will apply for one more over. Sen has decided to get Ashley Giles into the attack. Now, the man on strike is Saurav Ganguly. The field has to be up. You can see Giles, uh, if he's going to toss the ball up, will be close to the pads of Ganguly. One more to bowl off stump just outside. Now with the field up. He's got that away fine. That beats Goff. And will run into the boundary. That's such a good shot. It was nearly in the wicketkeeper's gloves there when Dinesh Mongi just got bat on the ball. Loose delivery which spied from Ashley Giles. Plays this so late, just gets a flick of the wrist, full face of the bat. Plays this so well. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Hongye down the track. Consecutive boundaries. The 100 comes up. And uh, like in England innings, it's come up in quick time. Well, once again, India have got a partnership going. Runs are plenty in this game in the first 15 overs. And yes, they will take Giles on. Went off on his way.
106 for two. Both these batsmen, good players of spin. They don't mind using their feet, hitting over the top. Didn't quite time it. Luckily for him, even though it was in the air, it was in the gap. To save the single. David Lloyd mentioned earlier in the over. Wickets are the key from England's point of view. They need to get wickets at regular intervals. That's what India did. And that's why they came back into the contest. 111 for two. Flint off into his fifth over now. Good over. Maiden. It's still 111 for two. Giles continuing. Well, they're a very knowledgeable cricket crowd here in Mumbai. They'll have seen all the matches and they'll have seen particularly in the last game where Ganguly good over 113 for two just the single that's nicely played good timing got into a good position Ganguly Couple of runs there to end the over. 118 for two. Charles continuing. Mm, this match nicely balanced at this stage. As the ball gets older, he'll get uh, more turn. And to tell you more in the commentary box, David Gar and Arun Lal. Yes, One twenty one for two. Michael Vaughan comes into the attack. He goes over the top. There was an invitation. He grabbed it with the spin. So that's four. There's no long on. A wide-ish mid-wicket. Hoping that he go, tries to go over the top to mid on and then with the turn play it into that wide dish mid wickets reach not this time four runs if he keeps that leg stump line he's going to create problems and also quite easily be swept away for runs too easily taken this time at the end of 23 it's 132 for two well still a way to go of course And throughout this one-day series, we've seen all sorts of twists and turns and ups and downs and sides that seem to have won games, losing them and vice versa. Well, he's hit that well again. First time, really, that he's had to have a big go at Ashley Giles. He's played it patiently until now. I don't think this is really working for Nasser Hussain, at least not at the moment. Keeping that long on position empty. He's given two boundaries. All the good work that they managed to achieve has just been converted into a six there. Well, certainly carried. And Hussein had left the gap for some reason or other as a tempter, maybe. And the six takes Ganguly up to 51. So he's uh, having a good night. 51 from 64. He's leading the way for India. Nice to struck. Eight runs in the over though, 143 for two. Michael Vaughan starts his third over. Tidy figures so far, two overs for four. Well, he adjusted the shots. Just had to wait for the ball as it gripped on the pitch. Ball from the over, 147 for two. 26 overs gone in this chase, 256 the target. 
And uh, England finally making a move now, which uh, suggests that Nasser Hussain has realised that a wicket is due, one way or the other. Darren Goff's had a habit of coming back well throughout this tournament. His uh, later spells, second and third spells, have often been productive for him. First ball, hit away down to deep cover. Three from Darren Goss come back over, 150 for two. India need 4.61 per over, that's two of them. But it generally happens that the second half of the innings is when the pressure starts building. Take one for that. It's one of those ones I'm sure actually Michael Vaughan wouldn't have quite realised when he first saw it how hard the ball had been hit and how far it was going to carry because he, di he didn't get himself in a position low down with his hands. Very pleased he was. Nicely struck. Ashley Giles doing uh, wonderful work down there. We're going to have to check it. Third umpire, I'm sure, will be called to check that to see whether or not the fielder was in touch with the rope as well as the ball. There's the sliding tackle. Might well be four. what England needed and Michael Vaughan has bowled very very well in this little spell Mongia coming down the wicket deceived and a good take from Foster just when England wanted a wicket plenty of turn Foster this time was balanced stayed low and Michael Vaughan has done the trick for England Mongia departs for 35 155 for three Mohamed Kaif, the new batsman, is the crease, the 22-year-old. Excellent over for England. Wicket maiden, 155 for three. Plus a shot whipped away. A bit cut off. Should pick up three, though. Long boundary out there. And must be played. It's not that short, but whipped away. Yes, and Momo Kev will make Ganguly run here because he's quick between the wickets. And Ganguly doing well to complete three. A lot of work with the bottom hand to get the par and the placement. Look at Kev, he's going. He wants three. off the mark Michael Vaughan to continue Get through that mid-wicket area Maybe with the spin just a one with the single Frustration for throwing off, but doing a good job. It's a no ball. It's the single. Putting the pressure back on the Indian captain. And that's why he has to play shots like this, and it's come off. Magnificent strike. Beautiful striking. Every time he's come down the wicket, just about. He's got himself into the right position to execute the shot. It's a slower ball, I think. There's nothing slow about it going off the bat. Calculated risk. 
Look at the head absolutely still when he goes through the line. Michael Vaughan starting his seventh over. He's gone for it. He's got away with it. It's a good shot. Probably premeditated, but well executed. Welcome back, our viewers on GD National. Fine shot by Saurabh Ganguly in the last over. Big hit for six. And then uh, Kev starting off the next over. Actually gets into good position to execute that shot. Just the one there. Yeah, they had a partnership of 111. And just 113 balls. And then both got out very quickly. And, uh, they seem to be cruising it for India. I think had Nasty Giles coming back into the attack. Expensive. His first spell. Shout. And there's only bat involved. Led by signalled. Single. That's the end of the over. Good over. It's four from it. It's 180 for three. Michael Vaughan. It's a big hit. And it goes all the way. A full toss. It still has to be hit. He came down the wicket and dispatched it. Well, he's such a clean striker of the ball. His eyes must have lit up here when he saw this full toss. Now that's beautifully hit. Sometimes it's not all that easy to hit the low full toss down the ground. Ganguly having no problems. So again, the pressure comes off with shots like this that can make the difference. Now he has to play sensibly. But he's looked very composed. Saurabh Ganguly right from the outset. So the only hope then that England are clinging to really is that something might happen as it did in Delhi when it was this same pair, Ganguly and Kaif, who were in charge of the game. Good work from Jamie Foster. And they think he's gone. There's, uh, and in fact, Ganguly's going. So just at the moment that uh, Ganguly looked to be setting himself up to finish this game off for India, yet again there's a twist in the tail. Ganguly ambly well he's taking an awful long time to leave the field he's desperately disappointed about this just like this around we go for the sweet again he eats the back of the bat keeper tries to catch it but Ganguly has swept the ball round onto his own stumps he's gone for 80 disappointed 191 for four there's a tension in the ground now here in Mumbai at the Wankhede Stadium and there's a wide, palpable wide for first ball. Uh, this new spell from Andrew Flintoff. Edged away, just wide of slip. And that's found the boundary. Well, that's what makes the difference at times like this. If the edge goes to hand, it means England are fighting back. If the edge goes for four, India are still on their way. Fine shot this time. That's all India needs. Leaves another 56. Ripping stuff. Giles into his ninth over. Nicely controlled. withstood any sort of pressure put to them turn and three for four England will keep coming out 
things like leg buys and scampered singles there's no doubt that England will keep coming at India and these younger players for them in these last well that's skied up and it's taken as well so there is once again the evidence of the pressure of the shot that wasn't really there and you can see in the eyes of the England captain and all his men there they're still in there fighting they still think they've got a chance that's what they've got to believe well we talk about nerve and keeping your nerve he's just lost it Dave skies one up into the air it's a saying it's the captain easy pouch he's on his way 20 for him 206 for five now here's little man who from what we've seen in this series so far enjoys this sort of situation Ajay Ratra off the mark straight away that one he's got hold of everything behind it from O.A. Shah the substitute fielder Andy Caddick back into the attack he's changed ends I thought he was uh, well there's no doubt about it he was expensive from those first seven overs Luckily for him, he picked up the wicket right at the end of that spell. Andrew Flintoff backing up. Scampling through again. Yeah, for me, um, the danger man actually is Argaka. Five. Michael Vaughan back into the attack. He's got two overs left that he can bowl. Well, there's one there. Ratchet for some reason just uh, hesitating a little bit. That's a nice shot. Flicked away. So it's one from every ball. Six from the over. Two seventeen for five. Well, no doubt in anyone's mind. Would you believe it? It's again Michael Vaughan who dropped a dolly in the last match. But the ball went through him, touched nothing. This one was hit straight to him and it was a simple catch. Well, these have got to be caught. Hit high on the bat, it's got no pace on it. And I have to say, that is a poor effort for Michael Vaughan. Hit on the up. I think he's having a few problems, Michael Vaughan, with the background. One ball to go on this over. Short. Got his glove on it. Foster doing the retrieving. India 221 for five. Michael Warren. He looked for two. Ashley Giles, the fielder. Michael Warren in his tenth over. Gone. Straight to Ashley Giles. In fact, he picked the fielder to perfection. Ajay Ratra. And Michael Warren strikes in his tenth over. He'll be relieved to see the back of actually dropped him, but Ashley Giles, no mistake whatsoever. Okay. Ratra has gone for eight, it's 224 for six. Gloved it. I think he's gone. He's not. And Andy Caddick is a tall man getting that extra bit of bounce, just too much for Ajit Agarkar to handle and Look at the score. Seven wickets gone. It's a good delivery, this. This will get many a good player out. It's the bounce. And straight through the foster. 24 for seven. With the Garka gone without troubling the scores. Harbhajan Singh is the man for India. And as David Lloyd said earlier, he likes to bat. 
edged and in between the keeper and first slip. And the Caddick is devastated. And it also ends the over. 228 for 7. Had a shy at the stumps as well. Straight to the England captain. India 231 for 7. Andrew Flintoff, 48th over for England. And this should be a boundary. And it is. The Sir of Ganguly has just come besides the boundary rope. He's got Badani on the move. He's woken the crowd up as well, but uh looking like a worried man. Good shot. The wit smashed away. Just been a single. It's up in the air. And he's gone. Harbhajan Singh perishes. An over ambitious shot as he loves to play. But that's the eight wicket gone. Flint off the man. All he really had to do is just try and get the singles. He's just had a play at this. It's a, a nothing shot, really. It's just a slog. And the pressure got to him. And Collingwood taking the catch. And Jan Singh has gone for five. It's 238 for eight. Anil Kumle is a bit of a fighter, but what India need is runs from him and quickly. Nine balls, 17 runs to win. It's getting out of India's hand. But that was a well-struck boundary. This came out of the blue for Hemang Badani. It's got the crowd alive. But India need a few of those. It's a good shot. Ooh, a couple of minutes ago, he's almost run out. It's the perfect reply. Got the strike. He's done what he wanted to do. He needed to do. Hit a boundary. Plintov, first ball of the over. And he's hit it well, would you believe it? Just for a moment, I thought that was travelling between the two fielders for a boundary, but the big man got behind it. Couple of runs to Kumle. Heyman Badani on strike. He's missed it completely, and there's got to be a run out. I think he's well short of the crease. My first reaction when I saw that one, Anil Kumle could just be struggling here. Let's have a look. Well, if he is, it's excellent work by Andrew Flintoff. Foster has the first roll, but Andy Flintoff followed through, backed it up, and picked it up and hit the stumps. Now, it's going to be very, very close. Here we go. Oh, he's out. He's out, he's out, he's out. That's absolutely magnificent fielding from Andy Flintoff as he backed it up. Foster had the first shy, but Andy, Paddock, uh, Andy Flintoff did not stop. He went down the wicket and finished the job off. Excellent work. Well, I'll tell you what, the umpire may have missed an important ruling amidst all that. Was that close to be called a wide? Maybe not, but this is something that's gone in the scorebook. Anil Kumble run out for five, and India 250 for nine. Bowled in! It's all over for India. Clintoff takes his shirt off. As you would expect, England have won the sixth one day international, and more importantly, the series scored three all. So we have no result after a lot of hard work. Well, we said it off the air. Get it up there, full and straight. Exactly what Andrew Flintoff did. And England win a th thriller by five runs and draw the series through all. And they've shown a lot of character in this series. People were writing them off at the start. England won't win a game. Well, they proved that to be wrong. The whole team are out there, the whole squad, and they're enjoying it. Just to look at the Indian batting card there, Virendra Seva got off to another flyer, getting 31. Tendulkar fell early, and that was a big break for England. Saurav Ganguly, I thought, played beautifully under pressure, but class, long enough.
for India. He got 80. He was the top scorer of 99 ball. Dinesh Mongia looked good in his 35. Mohamed Kaif, I thought, uh, played a poor shot. Even Badani remained unbeaten on 27. And after that, not too many runs coming. Just the 18 runs contributed by the last five batsmen. So in the end, falling short of that total by just a narrow margin, India.